Hello there everybody, my name is Rob and welcome back to Plague Inc. Today we will be playing with the Necroa virus. It's essentially zombies. Here are everything we're going for. Cytochrome Surge for that extra DNA points. Darwinist for the mutations. Aquasite to get across uh, places with boats. And Xerophile because we're going to be starting in Saudi Arabia. Um, we'll go with normal difficulty. And we're going to call our virus Squish Brain because um, zombies have squishy brains. Uh, like I said, we'll be starting... Come on, okay. We'll be starting in Saudi Arabia. And fast forward, Saudi Arabia is really good because it's sort of central to the map and its airport really goes all across the world. It goes to all four corners of the earth and it's brilliant. Uh, hot countries are getting hotter. Hopefully, because we've already got Xerophile, that won't matter too much? I don't know. We'll see. Because we start in Saudi Arabia, our disease is supposed to already be kind of resistant to um, heat. Okay, so we'll go to transmission. It's a bit different to normal. We get zoonotic ship, which, will, is, which is what we're going to get first. And it also unlocks all the different animal ones, including bats. So we're going to grab bats. Um, it's also got blood and saliva, which advance into the air and the water ones and stuff. Symptoms... You get special zombie things, so there's like hypersalivation, and then there's hunger and cannibalism and all this other stuff. A bit, And then also when you get down to the middle here, you actually unlock zombies proper. Abilities, you get your normal abilities, and then you later on you get lots of special zombie abilities in there. So, let's just uh, sit and wait, and hopefully we will infect the world. Um, we've got 40 people infected in Saudi Arabia now. Uh, the first things we're going for are bats. Um, so, let's grab that. Oh wait, we don't have enough for the second level of bats. So 17 DNA points is what we want. There we go, now we have enough. Because it, uh, it significantly increases infectivity and also increases mutation. Kickstopper raises record amount. Wow. Uh, yeah, after that we're going to get the drug resistance. Because that's always just a good thing to have. Um, when you're... Um, just it is, I think. It will deal with all the, the more rich countries that we're going to come across. Um, and then we'll go back to transmission. And I think the next thing we're going to get is saliva. Which costs nine points. Just waiting. <laughs> waiting for those things to pop up. Insomnia symptom, okay. Get a cough there in the background. And here we are. Saliva. We would really like I would really like it to start spreading into other things. Okay, so we're in Egypt now, which is really good. That's another reason that um Saudi Arabia is so good. It's right next to Egypt, which is one of the best, another one of the best ones, because of the two ports. It puts it in the Mediterranean and with also Northern Europe as well, I guess, and also out into Asia, so India and the uh, Oceanic uh, continent sort of thing. Uh, so they found the disease squish brain, and the first death to it. Um, it's kind of weird that we're in Mexico. Kind of weird that. There's only two ports in the whole of the Mediterranean when it was pretty much, like, the birthplace of humanity. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Greece has at least one port somewhere. <laughs> London Olympics are back on. We're probably going to be bringing the disease to the UK. Uh, oh, we got so many points, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, gastrointestinal, gastrointestinal uh, saliva... Let's grab cold resistance because we're in a few of the more warm countries now. And water because we want to try and get into Greenland as quick as possible. So there's a thing called uh, Zcom, which is essentially XCOM but for zombies. And, sir, and when the zombies come out, they're going to. Zcom will be founded and it will be pretty annoying. Um, okay. Ah! <laughs> There we go. Um, so yeah, they're really whatever country is Zcom is in, they kill zombies far quicker 
than any other country, and it can be a real trouble if it's on somewhere like Greenland, because it, it can be quite difficult to get a lot of zombies over there. Okay, um, let's grab water too, and I think we'll just we'll actually just hold on to. It would be good if the uh, American continents were a bit more infected. Like I'd like the world to be more infected when I actually like attack when I activate the zombie reanimation stuff. Maybe I should get the rats because they're quite good at infecting rich countries. Um, so Iceland still only has 14 people infected. Okay, we are spreading, which is nice. One and a half million, or one and a half billion even. But we've got so many points. Ah, here we are. Oh, Asia, that's of course. Mexico is totally overtaken. Brazil as well. Okay, give it a bit longer. See see how it goes. The UK is totally infected and a few uh, countries in Europe are on their way as well. Global research focused on cure. Okay, we may as well do it. Okay, so we go into symptoms. We grab delirium and then we go straight for cytopathic reanimation. And we grab anaerobic resuscitation which just makes the zombies better and also enhanced motor control because that makes them even better. Uh, and we may as well grab peptide, sur peptide surge. So, horde instinct. It lets us send zombie hordes around the world. Structured travel uh, increases trans um, increases travel speed and horde mentality for th hordes in the thousands and this one for hordes in the hundreds of thousands. So, let's send... Um, oh wait, we've got to wait for the zombies to pop up. Because we have to kill the zombies first. We have to kill the infected humans and then they become zombies. So. Click these beakers quickly. And how many... Okay, so a million zombies in Mexico means we can send 100,000 into the USA. Look at that. Look at all those zombies. We've got a million zombies in the USA now. Squish brain turning people into zombies, you don't say. Coma symptom mutated. Okay, so pretty soon, Zcom is going to get set up somewhere. Right now, though, we want to try and infect as much of the world as possible, as quickly as possible. Um, we will look for the least infected places and send hordes upon hordes to them. Can I go from Turkey to Ukraine? I can. And I'll also go from Turkey, and I'll go Turkey to the Ukraine, and then Brazil to Peru. And then you get all these little bubbles popping up, which is like people fighting zombies. Okay, we're going to grab horde pheromones, which means millions strong. Um, which I probably should have grabbed a couple turns ago. Okay. Pause so I can click all these fucking bubbles. Uh, Iceland. No, oh, we didn't even infect Iceland. So let's send a million zombies to Iceland and see how they f how they deal with that. Twelve million zombies in Iceland. Do twelve million people even live in Iceland? I'd be very surprised if they did. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, so now we send those twelve million zombies into Greenland and also Canada. Fucking hell, look at all these points. Okay, let's see. So, Greenland was just totally fucked and uh, they, we overran Zcom. Okay. So, we need to see where we need to send people now. The, the least infected places. So, somewhere like Central Europe is not very infected, so we'll send a big horde there. Uh, let's look. Okay, Morocco, I think, is going to be totally infected soon. Yep. Um, we're really looking for places that still have some people surviving. So send some people to New Zealand. Um, Russia also actually has quite a lot of people surviving, so let's send some big hordes that way. 
I mean, that's what that was like 20 million zombies there. New Zealand, I think, is overrun. Yep. Russia, let's see how this is going. Slowly but surely. Baltic state. Quite a lot of the European states are actually doing alright. So, let's send some zombies their way. Poland, and also some zombies from Poland into the Baltic states. And I think that they're pretty much done for. Is Canada? Nope. USA. Let's have a look on the map, see if there's anyone... No, so everyone's infected. We're looking at Peru, Ukraine... Where's Peru? Peru's down there. Let's have a quick look at Peru. Uh, yeah, Peru's going to be dead in a minute. Okay, Norway into Sweden. Russia into Finland. See how that goes. <laughs> Very quick. Very quick um, infection. And we're pretty much sorted, I think. Anywhere in the world still alive? What was that? I could have swore. Oh, that's just the world. Um, so where are the surviving people? Sweden. Send some more people into Sweden. Eight million zombies in Sweden. Okay. Click. See where we uh, Just go for the world. Sweden is the only country left. So. Sit back. Relax. And, uh, oh, we did it. Yep. So, I'll fast forward. And we can see how quickly the zombies infected the world. It was less than two years, which is pretty good. I think that might be the fastest I've ever destroyed humanity before. So, thumbs up for the zombie virus. Would recommend. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.